Hello and welcome to Reviews with Whitney D. I am she. If you're new to the channel, do not forget to click that subscribe. Head on over to that notification bell, move it from personalized to all so you can receive any and every upload that I place onto the channel. Get familiar with our community tab. There's where you can see any exclusive behind the scene content pertaining to the channel. I ask you questions, I ask you polls, I give you some pictures in regards to my day-to-day -day life. So go ahead and head on over to the community tab and join the conversation. Let's go. What up, Witness Gang? Welcome to the show. If you're new to the channel, click the subscribe button and join the gang gang. Nonetheless, let's get into it. Okay, so happy April Fool's Day, you guys, for one. Um, pray you guys are being safe and keeping healthy. Nonetheless, I was able to catch up on um, Love & Hip Hop Miami. And they just did their first part to their reunion special. And some points stood out to me of the reunion. Now, I'm not going to talk about the whole um, show and break each one down or nothing like that. It was just two situations on the show that I was like, mm, okay, well, I want to talk about it, okay? So if you're in for it, Let's go. If not, get off right now at this point in time. You've been warned, okay? Now, let's go, okay? So, MJ and Amada. MJ and Amada. Um, MJ is Shay Johnson's brother. And you guys know Amada La Negra. Um, yeah, I actually, when I first saw her and then I heard her speak, I adored her because I was like, oh, she's so, so cute. And I love seeing culturally diverse black individuals. Black people come from all walks of life all over the world. I love hearing black people from um, the UK. I love it. I love seeing black people be more than just um, the hood as they refer to us to our ghetto or whatever the case may be. I most definitely love to see that we sprout and blossom all over the world. And it's quite beautiful to hear someone of darker complexion speak Spanish, someone of darker complexion um, speak French or whatever. It's beautiful to me. Now, I do know, you know, people live and thrive and are birth everywhere, but I think it's so beautiful. But anyways, uh, not for nothing back on topic so that's who these individuals are and they are or were in a relationship it was brought that brought to light on the reunion that they're no longer together um if you were not able to see the last um season i mean the last episode of the season they broke up because um prima donna brought um mj's ex to um amada to let her know some information about MJ, okay? And while on the reunion, Shay got upset, uh, which is MJ's sister, and was just like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, if someone don't understand you and your worth, let let them go. And he was trying to say that, you know, it's not that easy. I love her. You know, eventually in time, well, you know, I'll get over it. And Amada was like, well, over time, if we are supposed to be together, we'll be back together. And it was a lot of other things that came out that was brought about or whatever, um, you know, the case may be. Bobby, which is Trina's cousin, made a good statement, which is like, you know, Prima Donna brought this situation up. Why were you listening to her? So I just wanted to address the whole topic in itself, okay? When it comes to what um, Bobby said in regards to Prima Donna, I can no more agree than I can agree. The thing is, is that Everyone has a past, okay? And what I've come to realize being a person in such a predicament as such as that I am close to, uh, well, you know, have to be, you know, with having a blended family, me being close to my um, husband's ex, um, whom they shared a child with, um, and that's my choice, um, you know, but I come from a blended family myself. We were all blended. You know, we didn't know who was coming or going. But not for nothing, I have a relationship with this woman. And the thing is, is that she has her experiences with my husband that are her experiences. And I can't take that away from her. But it's a lot of situations that she experienced that I can't relate to. So my whole thing is take the meat and spit out the bones. What doesn't apply to you don't apply to you, but do not allow any outsider. And at that point, regardless if they had a history or past, they're an outsider. 
Okay, and sometimes people's uh, past can try to come back and veer its ugly head. I had many situations where, not many, let me stop being exaggerative, not when it comes to my husband. But I had a lot of situations in my past that exes would like try to expose that particular individual that I'm with at that point of time because what they went through. And I had to come to a realization that Everybody's not going to experience what I experienced with that individual. My experience, my walk of life with them is going to be different because I am going to be different with what the things that I tolerate and how the foundation that I start and build with them. I do not think that MJ is using Amada. I really genuinely believe that he really and um, authentically loved this woman. You could tell it in his eyes. Now, his exes may have been exes that he was trying to get on, on to come up on. You know what I'm saying? Maybe so or whatever. You know, we live, we learn, we go through things, you know, and we experience life. And sometimes it takes a person that you really want to be with to have you change or have you look at things differently and not do them the same as you did with your exes. You cannot compare my experience with your experience. You know what I'm saying? So I really have that a model went that route in believing or listening to an ex that clearly had issues with this man you know it wasn't coming from a place of love um she handled it so dramatically um this is a something i would have respect more if she slided in my dms you know what i'm saying not try to make a position on the show be dramatic mess up what we started if the if he's not showing these signs and behaviors to you why are you listening to what somebody else is saying in regards to your relationship? Now, if I'm not mistaken, I think she did say um, when confronting MJ, this is Amada. Um, you know, I'm I'm coming to you because this is my life. This uh, She's telling me stuff that I'm experiencing. The thing is, is that you would have never known that this is something that it was repetitive or whatever the case may be if this young lady wouldn't came to you. See, sometimes people can come just like, you know what, them, them, them infomercials. You be sitting at home minding your own business, be good, and they be like, do your cough sounds like this? Do your sneeze Make it feel like this. Okay, you have this and we have the cure for this. You be like, yes, yes, it does. Oh, I never thought about that. Of course. Uh, when people put some stuff in your face, it makes you start questioning things. And you have to know that God is not the author of confusion. Now, if you're in a situation to where you're confused, it's like, okay, how did this get in? Where did this come in at? You know what I'm saying? No shade, no tea against uh, prima donna. But the thing is, is that at the end of the day, these are real people's lives that are getting affected. And yet, true enough, you wanted to bring her some tea or some information. But God has a way of bringing revelation about things. You know what I'm saying? But that was what I wanted to say in regards to that. And in regards to Shay stating, if someone don't understand you and your worth, let it go. And I have to agree with that. The thing is, is that it's like, um, we, like I said, we all have passed. And for um, Amada to sit up here and, you know, and be so judgmental towards this man who clearly loves her, may not be perfect, but he clearly loves her and he's trying to do his best to may not be that old person. Shoot, tell her, well, keep it pushing. You know what I'm saying? She'll come to realization where well, she'll see, well, thank you. I think he really did love me. You know what I'm saying? And um, it just sucks for MJ because you could tell he was in deep. He started crying. You know what I'm saying? He, um, you know, um, in a sense disrespected his sister um because she was upset you know rightfully so but he was trying to excuse me have her be quiet so he can you know explain and all this stuff like that so um i really hate to see them in their demise because of hearsay maybe some truth was to it but again at the end of the day you have to have your own life experiences with a person regardless of their past Lips and Lashes by Shea Cosmetics is way more than its namesake. From primers, mascaras, eyeshadows, foundations, lippies, lashes, and so much more. For that fierce look you can't find anywhere else, Lips and Lashes by Shea Cosmetics. Tell them Whitney from Reviews Whitney D sent you. Now, 
I think I actually addressed this. I did a video about it. Um, if not, I'm excited to discuss this particular topic because um, it's in regards to um, Tip and Santana or Saucy Santana. And if you guys want to wear, Saucy Santana was in a uh, Miami strip club and um, afterwards got shot at right and a bullet grazed him or what have you right and so tip came on to the set because that's the strip club that she worked at and she was just you know debunking um the theories of saucy santana um and um he was stating that it was a lg or it was an alphabet community um um attack because he's in that community right and so um, Tip just came on and was just saying, you know, that was not the case. You know, he was doing a, a bit much in the club. And so I've always wanted to discuss this and talk about this particular topic because I actually, again, like I say, I don't really talk to many. I don't talk about too many topics that I don't really I can't really relate to or say personally about. And this one I can. Back in my days, I used to venture to the strip club. And so in regards to what Tip was saying, I have to agree. And this was not brought up on the reunion. And it's frustrating because they always want to put a particular narrative out there you know and the thing is is that um in regards to what uh tip was saying that you know you was up in a gentleman's club shaking your behind moving around you moved wrong throughout the whole club or whatever right and the thing is is that i understand that i remember being in a strip club getting up dancing that made me sit down that was like sit down that's why we have dancers here and you're basically you know um taking the attention off of them so I feel like it was some truth into what Tip was saying as well as maybe Saucy. You know, he quite frankly with this club. It's never happened to him. Now all of a sudden here. But I also see his attitude is very stank. It's very stank. You know what I'm saying? And um, you can't tell him anything. And while that's cool and fine and dandy, everybody and their mama is not going to agree with your lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? But we can't always throw that flag out there like that. Oh, everybody's homophobic. Everybody's against you when we're making logical points. And you can't get mad at Till for making a point. That's her club. That's her place of work. For one, she's going to take up for it. And for two, she was speaking some valid facts because that's at any club that I can think about. A woman, female, whatever. You get up and you get the dancing. You're taking attention from the strippers, from the dancers. And then you also run them up. Oh, yeah, you're going to have to get out. But you also got to understand who was in that club that you may have offended in the process. You know what I'm saying? Because they were saying that he was bouncing all around to each um, little section talking noise. Regardless if you was crunk and amped up off a song. Do you know how many songs get people riled up? I remember back in my day it was Duck If You Buck. Baby, when that song came on, I come in the club, shaking my threads, threads, throwing these bows and busting these heads. Boy, baby, please, what? What? Okay. So I get it, but at the end of the day, you got to hold yourself accountable for your part in this, you know? But that was part one, and some of those things came out on part one. I'm excited to see part two and see what this unfolds. I really am not a big watch uh, watcher of the um, Miami edition. I really wish they would just get rid of it because it's really boring, to say the least. It's done got a little spicy because it's done got a little um, action in there with fights and stuff like that. But it's just it's just kind of pointless, you know. But I don't know, you guys. That's the video. Tell me. What you think down in the comments below. Are you here for the Love and Hip Hop Miami edition? Um, did you get the Watch Do Reunion special? Tell me what you think down in the comments below. And we'll talk about it there, okay? Alright, you guys. Be blessed and be safe. Bye. Anyways, you guys. That's the video. Tell me what you now think down in the comments below. Keep it cute or get the boot. Okay, you're going to get out of here. All right, but go on on with your comments. Do not forget to click that subscribe button, okay? If you are new to the channel and want to join the Witness Gang and be a part of the Witness Nation, click that subscribe button. Okay? And then click that notification bell, move from personalized to all so you can receive any and every upload that I place onto the channel, okay? Head on over to that community tab. There's where you'll see any behind the scene content pertaining to the channel. I post my day to day pictures, me getting ready for work, just trying to check in and see how y'all doing. Sometimes I put a little polls on there just to get you guys uh, information about things. Sometimes I let you know if I'm going live or if I'm doing a new upload or just, you know, just shooting the 
stuff with you guys. So get on over to the community tab and get familiar with that and join the conversation, okay? I am about to get uh, my my um, my uh, lazy eye corrected, all right? And I'm about to embark on this journey. So I created a second channel. A lot of people were saying that they could not find it. So I placed the link in the description box below, okay? It's my lazy journey, okay? Again, I'm about to get my lazy eye corrected and I'm about to embark on a journey. I'm gonna let you know how it got this way. I wasn't born this way, okay? As well as me wearing glasses too. Supposed to be wearing glasses, but anyways, okay. Well, you're gonna join me as I journey on this path of finding a doctor, getting the corrective, whatever it takes to get it corrected. Okay, I'm trying to go the invasive route first, so pray for me. Okay, yeah. So if there's something of interest of you, go ahead down to the description box below and click that link, okay, and join that page. Once I get to 50 subscribers, I'm going to release my first video, okay? So stay tuned for that, okay? Thank you, guys. Bye.